Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with something a little different. This is going to be an unboxing. I've never done one before. I have the Saber Forge lightsaber that I had custom made. That thing was like close to $1,000. I got stuff all over my house. You guys have seen things. I know I did a video for the Dolph Lundgren Russian boxing shorts from Rocky IV that I got autographed like a year ago. I've done a couple videos, but not a whole lot. I've never done an unboxing. Most of what I've shown is stuff I've already had and things that people just wanted me to show them. Recently, I just added the idol from Raiders. It was actually a Valentine's Day gift from Michelle. You guys would know Michelle if you've seen the live stream. It is the fertility idol from Raiders. Obviously, you guys recognize it if you are a movie fan. It has got weight to it. As you can see, it's not like official Indiana Jones, but it is the font of Indiana Jones, and it's called Adventure's Treasure. It is an exact replica, but not official, I guess, unless that is the company that makes the official ones. I don't know. It was a gift, and I really didn't look too much into it. It replaced the Friday the 13th 8-bit NES uh, Jason Voorhees that I had here. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Look back to the last hundred or so videos. It's probably in all of them, if not more. You guys know all around my room, I have ridiculous amounts of Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. I also added the hoverboard from Back to the Future 2. That is official. Official Back to the Future 2 replica. If you guys know me from my live streams and my other videos, I'm a massive movie fan. I go to conventions all the time. The last convention I went to was a Monster Mania, I believe. I saw them at the convention, but I never actually held one or wore one. I know if I put this on, I'm not going to want to take it off and I'm just going to want to buy this one. But I wanted to get the exact one I wanted. At the convention, he had a lot of custom jobs. The company's called Nightmares Unlimited. It's ran by a guy named Mark and his wife. I'm pretty sure Mark himself builds all the gloves. All I know is at the convention I went to... They had Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 glove, and I think they had the original Nightmare on Elm Street, and a couple custom jobs. If you guys are Nightmare on Elm Street fans, you will remember Dream Warriors, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, the drug addict chick who's in the insane asylum. Freddy basically injects her with a Freddy Krueger glove with syringes. You could buy that one. That's the exact replica from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Or he has a jazzed up version, which is the reanimator movie, infused with the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 glove, and it's basically the syringes, but it actually has neon green ooze flowing through it, almost like a repetitive water fountain thing where it recycles the water. It looks like it does that with the neon green ooze. So very cool, but that one gets pricey. Like as you get custom stuff, it starts getting pricey. Some of the gloves go well over a thousand dollars, but they're all handmade and look ridiculous. So I'm going to not talk anymore, and we're going to open this up. So... This is it, the box. I'm covering up my address just for the sake of not wanting insanity, but I've never done one of these before. I've seen people do them. I have a lot of knives in my room, so I'm going to take one of these. I love knives. I love weapons. I was a martial artist and stuff, so I have like weapons and swords and knives all over my house. These are weighted throwing knives, as you can see. They're very clean. I barely use them because I have throwing knives that I use on a regular basis in my garage. These ones I try not to throw too much because they're beautiful and I don't want to ruin them. But I use them for things like this, so we will cut it open. These aren't replicas from movies, by the way. These are just knives. But a little fun fact, Martin Cove, who plays Sensei Kreese in the Cobra Kai and Karate Kid movies, his personally owned double-bladed sword from Steel Justice. It was a movie from the 80s. Not a whole lot of people heard of it. And all he's really known for is Karate Kid. But I love the dude. And he did a private auction and tried to auction it off. And I was the high bidder. And he did not accept my bid. And I, we couldn't come to an agreement. I forget what he wanted, but I was like willing to go up a little and it didn't work out. So as far as I know, he still has that knife. And I kind of wish I bought it because to this day, I keep thinking back to it. And I'm still talking about it now. And it was like eight years ago. But anyway, this is the Freddy Krueger glove. I'm doing it like this because I honestly am just curious to see what this looks like. And people have asked me. For weeks now, months maybe even, they've been like, hey, have you got your Freddy glove? So people periodically have been talking to me. So here we go. I don't have to show you guys. We do unboxings. So apparently it is a lot of newspaper. I don't want to ruin it. I guess that's it for that. It is heavy. I'm not, I'm actually surprised how heavy it is. Lots of wrapping paper or newspaper. So it is wrapped up in this. I, I'm assuming this is it, unless it's wrapped in something else. I see the glove already. 
So you see with me, oh my God, it actually clawed up the paper like blades. Look at that. It actually like made incisions in the blade. Oh, I got to watch. I don't cut myself because it's probably sharp. It's supposedly you can get them sharpened and everything. I don't know if they already are. They look like they're rounded a little, so they're not too bad. But I'm a righty, obviously, and so is Freddy. I'm just going to put it right on. I can actually smell the leather. You can smell that he, like, treated the leather. Oh, I almost poked myself in the eye. That would have been horrible. By the way, it's, like, fitted, but it is supposed to be spot on. I'll have to look later. I'll have to compare it later because I'm honestly looking at it for the first time. But it's supposed to be exactly like Freddy's glove in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. I even looked earlier. I wanted to see how big the hole was before I opened this. And it looks like it's exactly the same width. I honestly, when I was looking at the picture earlier, I was like, that's a really big hole in Freddy's glove. But as you can see, it's a really big hole in Freddy's glove. I don't remember it being that big, but I looked at pictures of the glove while I was waiting for this. And that's pretty much what I saw. He said that it's even going to have the wear and tear the same as the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 glove. The way it's like, you know, faded and worn and stuff, the hinges and stuff like that. You could see the way the blade is soldered. It's got wear. That's not because he made it. It's because it's intentional. If you look at the gloves from the earlier movies, it's not as beaten. It gradually gets more and more beat up. The reason I didn't want the Part 4 glove that was there, it's a little too worn and beaten for my liking. And I also, Nightmare on Elm Street 3 is my favorite one. I wanted to get the glove for my favorite movie, which I also think is the best. I think it's worn just enough where it looks cool, but not too worn where it's like overdone. But as you guys can see, it's like, it's like got weight. It honestly has weight and it's actually nicer than I imagined. You guys can see it's like, it like snaps. Everything is like jointed. You can see the joints. It's made with like heavy duty metal. The thing weighs. The thing's got to be like, I don't know, at least 10 pounds. I'd have to weigh it later. Maybe not 10 pounds, but it's close to 10 pounds, which is a lot. If you guys, I'm trying, I lift a lot of weights. My whole life I've been a weightlifter, so I'm pretty good with determining weight. This thing feels like it's probably close to 10 pounds. That's a lot of weight for a glove. I wear gloves all the time. I didn't expect it to honestly be this heavy, but I like it because you know it's constructed well and it is what it's supposed to be. But yeah, you guys can see up close. It's literally made, it's like not bendable. It's literally like solid metal riveted together, knuckles. It snaps and cracks when you like whip your fingers out. I've had a lot of cheap Freddy gloves, maybe gloves that cost $50 and they were obviously always plastic. This part of the glove I've had gloves where like the leather was pretty cool and the metal was pretty accurate, but the blades were never. They're always soft plastic. There's always a negative to one of them. This is perfect. Everything about it I love. It even smells like burnt, worn out leather because you could smell he treated the leather to preserve it. But really cool stuff, guys. I don't know what more I could say about it. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the chat. But I figured I'd let you guys see it when I open it for myself. Check it out. Looks pretty cool, I think. I'm going to show you guys something that's right over here. I didn't just put it there. It's always there because I love Nightmare on Elm Street that much. I love Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, hands down, my favorite horror villain of all time. I love Friday the 13th, too. I'm a child of the 80s, so I grew up with all that. Chucky, I love. Leatherface, stuff like that. And Hellraiser. All cool guys. Freddy, I always thought, was the coolest. I thought he had the coolest weapon. I thought the fact that he could attack you in your dreams and you're basically helpless. I thought he was the coolest all around. So, very cool. But I'm going to show you this real quick just so you get an idea of how much I appreciate Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy Krueger. I was also him many Halloweens. So every year, guys, they have the Monster Mania convention. They have it twice a year. Once is in like March and April and the other is in like August. So one time I got this. It is a 3D reconstruction of the Nightmare on Elm Street video game with Freddy Krueger in a 8-bit version like he is in the video game. This literally sits right under my TV in front of me, so I see it at all times. Very fond of this. And this is Nightmare on Elm Street 3, if you guys didn't know. Nightmare on Elm Street 3. It is a cardboard stand-up. I have Nightmare on Elm Street 4. I have Friday the 13th movies all over. I have DeLoreans and everything you can think of, not just horror. These are all over my house. I love them. Because instead of like a poster where you got to hang it up, which I have dozens of those as well, these you could literally just stick up anywhere and like they just cardboard cut out. They're made very well. I've been collecting them now for like two or three years. So I've got at least 15 of these all over my house, along with movie posters, stuff like that. 
But you guys have any questions? I just wanted to show you guys. I figured people were asking, might as well do a video. We'll see how an unboxing video does. I've always wanted to do one. I'm always down to do new things, and I figured an unboxing would be a new thing to try out. But you guys let me know what you think. Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.